Looking for the best Micro ATX motherboards for your AMD build? Micro ATX motherboards hit that perfect middle ground in size. Smaller than ATX boards, but larger than Mini ITX. They offer the sweet spot, allowing you to have a compact case without sacrificing too much in terms of features or expansion slots. In this video, I've compiled a list of the best budget and best value AMD Micro ATX motherboards. No need to sift through the countless options, I've got you covered. Price information and all the motherboards mentioned are available in the description below. So let's start with the best budget AMD Micro ATX motherboard. The ASRock B650M H-M.2 Plus is an entry-level motherboard for the AMD B650 chipset that offers a good balance between performance and price. This Micro ATX board features decent VRMs along with adequate connectivity options and sufficient networking. It's a great board if you're on a tight budget and are looking for a no-nonsense board that's reliable and performant. Looking at the board, there are no fancy design aesthetics going on. It follows a simple, to-the-point implementation with no thick VRM heatsinks or any flash of RGB. Actually, it's quite plain from a design standpoint, with the only sight of AS Rock branding on the lower heatsink. It uses a matte grey finish with a little complement of black patterns. A single 8-ping EPS connector is provided in the top left corner to power the processor. Contrary to the typical four DIMM slots, this board houses two slots for memory that are not reinforced along with a single locking mechanism at the top which supports a maximum of 128GB RAM memory with speeds of 6400MHz. It goes without saying that a budget motherboard has to make compromises, and VRMs are one of the areas that were adjusted for this. The board uses a 6 plus 1 plus 1 phase VRM design, which is definitely not the best, but it does the job. Still, I wouldn't recommend using it for any high-end AM5 processor, or you're going to run into thermal trouble. In terms of performance, the board offers a single PCIe x16 Gen 4 slot for your graphics card. For storage, you get Gen 5 support for your M2 SSD, which is certainly nice to see, along with an additional Gen 4 slot as well. You also get four SATA connectors, offering speeds of up to 6GB per second, so there are plenty of options for storage. There's also support for AMD Expo, which should allow you to take advantage of your memory's max speed. Thermal performance is not the best when paired with the top-of-the-line AM5 processors like the Ryzen 7950X as expected, where the VRM thermals reach 107 degrees Celsius. However, for entry-level AM5 processors, like the 7600X and even the 7700X, you shouldn't have to worry about it. Nonetheless, this board matches the thermal efficiency of boards like Gigabyte B650M D3H, which comes at a much higher price point. You also don't have to worry about network connectivity, since the board supports up to 1 gigabit speed with its Realtek LAN chip. Alongside this, you can also choose to use Wi-Fi via the M2 Key E slot that is available. That said, the Wi-Fi module is not included on the board. For connectivity, you're looking at six rear USB ports with four USB 3.2 Gen 1 and two USB 2.0. On top of that, you also get six front USB ports, four of which are USB 2.0 and two USB 3.2 Gen 1. All in all, the ASRock B650M H-M.2 Plus is the cheapest entry-level motherboard that you can buy to take advantage of the AM5 chipset with support for DDR5 memory and more. It's in no way a great motherboard, but it certainly does the job quite well for its price. Let's move now to the best value AMD Micro ATX motherboard. The MSI Pro lineup of motherboards has proven to be a reliable choice for simple office or workstation PCs, and the B650MA follows that tradition. With the introduction of the new Ryzen 7000 CPUs, MSI has made notable improvements to the VRMs, and this is apparent in the Pro B650MA. 
Still by current standards, the VRMs on this board are considered modest yet capable. It features a set of 8-phase VRMs that are effectively cooled by a thick heatsink. As a result, even under an all-core load with a stock 7950X, the VRMs only reach a maximum temperature of 78 degrees Celsius. Of course, I don't recommend anyone to get a 7950X for this motherboard, but this does go to show the premium quality even on a budget-friendly board. Performance is an overall advantage of this board, and even the RAM support is excellent. Usually, MSI boards don't clock memory much higher than 6,400 megatransfers per second, but this board does support up to 7,200 megatransfers per second DDR5 RAM. If we take a look at the rear I.O., MSI has kitted the Pro B650MA with eight USB Type-A ports, where four of them are running at USB 3.2 Gen 1, and four of them at USB 3.2 Gen 2 speeds. Sadly, there isn't a single USB Type-C port on the rear I.O. Also, MSI should have added at least two USB 2.0 Type-A ports, because now you'll have to use two USB 3.2 Type-A ports for peripherals, like a mouse and a keyboard. Thankfully, the front I.O. has four USB 2.0 Type-A, one USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C, and two USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-A ports, which does alleviate some of my concerns. The rear I.O. also has a BIOS flashback button, which is fantastic for upgrading the BIOS without needing to install a compatible CPU. Other than that, everything else you get is pretty standard, like HDMI 2.1, DisplayPort 1.4, Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.3, 2.5 gig LAN, and a standard 3-port array of audio jacks. When it comes to aesthetics, the MSI Pro lineup of motherboards has a simple all-black design. It's not for showing off your PC, but rather something with a tried-and-true formula, and a look that won't clash with anything else. Being a micro-ATX board, there aren't going to be as many PCIe slots as one would expect from a full-sized ATX board. In total, you get two M.2 SSD slots and three PCIe slots for expansion. The first PCIe slot is a proper x16 PCIe 4.0 slot that's connected directly to the CPU. The other two slots are just simple PCIe 3.0x1 and PCIe 4.0x4 slots. It would make sense to go with this board's bigger brother, the MSI Pro B650P Wi-Fi, if you really want an extra PCIe slot and a stronger VRM, if you have a much bigger budget to spend on the motherboard. In terms of competition, the most interesting alternative is the ASRock B650M Pro RS Wi-Fi, which is very similar to this motherboard in many ways. The reason why I prefer the MSI Pro B650M A Wi-Fi is that for just $10 more, you get a neater design, an extra PCIe slot, and much better USB ports. The ASRock is a good choice if you're looking to squeeze as much out of your budget as possible and really want a USB Type-C port on the back. But it's clear that the B650MA Wi-Fi is hard to pass, especially given how similarly priced they both are. In conclusion, the MSI Pro B650MA is going to be the ideal choice for budget Ryzen machines. Its solid VRM is what mainly makes it a worthy recommendation. It doesn't go overboard in any shape or form, and just gets the job done. All these make it the ideal micro-ATX motherboard. There's plenty more to enhance your PC experience. Check out more of our videos filled with suggestions and reviews to help you get the most out of your setup.